So, in this problem, we're asked to find the moment that the force being applied in this structure uh, exerts about the central shaft. Um, and looking at the way that the coordinate system was established, um, the central shaft basically aligns with the y-axis. And so that's going to facilitate um, our problem as we um, go about it. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to define our r vector. Um, and looking again at our coordinate system, our r vector in meters is going to be negative 0.3 in the x direction, negative x direction, uh, followed by 0 0.4 meters in the y direction, or 40 centimeters, and 0 in the z direction. This is meters. Uh, we're next going to define our force, and this is going to be 5 kilonewtons. And so we are told that the force is being applied in the yz axis. So uh, we start off by looking at our y axis, and this is basically, um, so since it's in the yz axis is 0 and the x, then we know that the force component in the y direction is 5 kilonewtons in the negative direction times the sine of our angle, so sine 30. And it is also 5 kilonewtons in the positive z direction. So 5 sine 30. We can see that uh, this component, the forward component or out of the page, is the sine component um, of that force. So performing our um, moment, and that is by doing our uh, cross product, which is uh, basically m is equal to r cross f. That is going to give us um, magnitudes of our vector of 1.73 in the x direction, 1.30 in the y direction, and 0.75 in the z direction. But even though we found the moment, we haven't really found uh, what the problem ask, uh, is asking. The problem, again, is asking for the moment uh, due to the force exerted on our central shaft. So what we want to do is dot our, uh, for our moment vector times our direction vector, which we're going to define of the central shaft as u, and so that is going to be 0 in the x direction, 1 in the y direction, 0 in the z direction. Okay, And so by doing that, we're going to find the magnitude of that moment on our central shaft. Doing that is going to give us, um, let's see, if we do u dotted with m, that is going to be 0, 1, 0, dotted with our moment. And that is going to give us just um, the y component, which is 1.30 kilonewtons meters. And that is a moment that is being exerted on the y-axis. 